hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm coming to you guys today with a new video speaking all about my 2018 goals and a quick recap of my 2017 goals i'm not a big new year new me person but i am the type of person who likes to feel accomplished and i'm goal oriented so i frequently make checklists of things that I want to accomplish and I check off things and it just helps me keep track of my progress and what I'm doing and what I would like to do better at in the next year. So I'm not going to ramble with this intro. Let's get right into my 2017 goals that I were able to accomplish and some that I was not able to accomplish. So a big goal of mine for 2017 was to save more money. It seems like this is a reoccurring goal of mine that I always um, push myself to save money or save more money. And in 2017, I would not say I accomplished my personal goal. I was able to save some money and do some things that I wanted to do, but I would like to have more money saved. So I would not say that I accomplished that goal. Another goal that I had for 2017 was to make a move. So I was able to accomplish my goal of making a move. I was able to move um, to a new city, as you may know by previous videos that I have made. And if you haven't seen that video, it's some really good tips on how to make a move to a different city, how to save money and make the most of your move. And I'll link that video right above. So I was able to accomplish my goal of moving. It wasn't an easy goal, but needless to say, I did accomplish it or we did accomplish it, me and my husband together. But that was a personal goal of ours was to make a move. One of my 2017 goals was to do more traveling. And like I just previously said, I made a move in 2017. So um, it wasn't much that I can do as far as traveling because we had to put all of our money and attention towards actually making a move so that was one of the goals that i did not get to completely accomplish but there's always room for that next year. one of my personal goals as well for 2017 was to work on my faith um my goals really they all align in the same categories like finances entertainment and spirituality or faith Usually those are my um, the, my categories that I work in as far as what goals I set for myself. And I wanted to um, be more intentional with my faith. So I wanted to be more in tune with praying and be more in tune with reading the Bible and things like that. So I was able to become way more in tune with my praying and being more diligent as in doing it every single day. So that was a major accomplishment for 2017 as well. So I don't want to spend too much time on my goals from 2017. Those were a few that I gave you that I was able to accomplish and some that I were not able to accomplish. But I want to spend the rest of my time on this video speaking about the goals that I have for 2018. So one of the goals that I would like to accomplish was um, to be more organized. So for one, I am already an organized person, but I do um, lax a little bit within my organization as far as inside my home. I'm pretty organized as far as like planning and paying bills and things like that. But inside my home, sometimes I can let things just like kind of get into a back corner and pile up. I feel like I'm off to a great start for my goals of being more organized in 2018. Already just 16 days into the month, I have already reorganized my closet and my storage closet, creating more so on to another goal that I have. I always say that I want to find a hustle, um, I want to find like a side job, something that I don't have to rely on my 9 to 5. Um, for but I realized that YouTube is my side hustle YouTube is my second job so I have decided to put a halt to finding a hustle for myself and actually just being more intentional and spending more time with my YouTube channel and not being lax so time and time comes where I will have the equipment, have the ideas to film a video, but just not feeling motivated to get up and actually film it 
because I am working 9 to 5, 40 hours a week, sometimes 50 hours a week. So when I'm at home, I want to relax. I don't want to really pull out my camera on work nights and film videos, which leaves me with only two days a week that I can film videos. And then when those days roll around, I'm wanting to be out and about and enjoying my off days. YouTube is a huge passion of mine. I really do love making these videos and I want to pump out more content. So all in all, that is my um, goal is to turn YouTube into a hustle and actually treat it like a hustle and actually put the work in. The Side Hustle Pro podcast and they have really good tips or she has really good tips for um, how to work your side hustle and still work a nine to five job or you know just being busy and still running a side hustle and I'm going to be imp implementing some of those um, tips that I learned from Side Hustle Pro in this year 2018. So um, another goal that I had is which is more like a joint goal for me and my husband we want to start making the steps to purchasing a home. So time and time we've been renting we have a beautiful apartment but time, it gets old to keep dishing out all of this money on a property when you could be paying towards something that will be yours. So we're really interested in starting those steps, saving money and getting our credit scores higher so that we can be purchasing a home sooner than later. So another personal goal of mine would be to start and like filtering through the people that I have in my life and the people that I'm allowing to come into my life. And it's not to say that I have any bad friends because I wouldn't, I couldn't say that I have any bad friends. Most of my friends are pretty awesome, but I would definitely like to look at people with almost a magnifying glass and just find out who's genuinely good for me in my life and who's not. Because in 2018, in 2017, and in 2016, and so on and so on, we don't need no drama and I won't be entertaining that in 2018. So definitely I would like to decrease any negative vibes, any people putting off negative vibes. I don't need that in my life. So you will be pretty much deleted from my life. I don't want to deal with that in 2018. I'm really trying to focus on self-help and being the best person that I can be, which is growing spiritually and just being a good wife, friend, sister, daughter, all of that. So um, that is a very important for me to get rid of the negative vibes in my life when I'm trying to build and be a more positive person. So um, with that being said, I'm not gonna keep rambling about it, but any negative vibes got to go. So now that we're here and we're settled in our new city, I definitely wanna start back traveling. And that is um, a part of my 2018 goals. We want to travel more frequently uh, because it's just too many places in the world for us to see that we should not be just sitting around, sitting in the house. Like we got to get out and we got to see some of these places. So um, starting out, we're going to be going to New York for Valentine's Day, which is awesome. We're probably going to be a little cold, but it's going to be awesome. Neither of, have, neither of us have never been to New York. So we will be um, touring the Big Apple for the Big V Day. Okay. So the last goal that I'm going to share with you guys for 2018 is another joint goal of my husband's and I. And we are planning to be more intentional when it comes to motiva motivating each other. So we already motivate each other. I feel like that's just um, one of your duties as a husband and wife. You're supposed to be able to lift each other up and motivate each other, but we want to be more intentional because for instance, we will set like workout goals or um, personal goals, just period. We will share those with each other and then we'll be like going hard together right then. But then we would kind of like slack off and be like, let's just watch a movie, you know? Like, can we just watch a movie? Let's just lay down. I don't feel like working out today. Like, babe, do you want some cookies? Like, let's go and make some cookies and some ice cream and watch this movie. Like, all of that is good, but we want to be more intentional when it comes to motivation. So, like, I want my husband to come at me like, put it down. Don't eat those cookies. Like, 
You said you want to go to the gym. You said you want to lose 10 pounds. Like, let's get on it. So that's another one of our goals for 2018. We want to definitely be more intentional when it comes to motivating each other. So, guys, that concludes this video. I think I did a great um, overall view of what I have planned for 2018 and a small recap of what I accomplished in 2017 and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I would like to hear what your goals are down below so if you have any 2018 goals that you would like to share please leave them in the comment section down below and I would love to hear those goals and we can work through the internet to motivate each other but um, with that being said, I think that's all for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Hit the subscribe button. Like, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Because I will be coming with a lot of good content in 2018. Like I said, as a goal, I plan to be more consistent with um, YouTube. And I need you guys to hold me to it. So... If I'm not filming a video, if y'all, if I go missing for two, three weeks like I have in the past, I need y'all to hit me up. Hit me up on my Instagram. Hit me up on my Snapchat and be like, hey girl, where you at? We want those new videos. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that your 2018 is everything that you need it to be. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.